scientists or gastroenterologists tell us that inflammation in the esophagus happens because hydrochloric acid from the stomach goes for different reasons here in the esophagus and actually will create an inflammation. So because of the acid, we are going to have inflammation right here and it's may cause Barrett's esophagus. This article is fascinating. The article is telling us that inflammation here in the esophagus and any part of the esophagus and even inflammation of low esophageal sphincter can happen without hydrochloric acid going up into esophagus. This concept fascinates me because as a physician, I know and we, we learned in, in medical school that inflammation in any part of the body can happen for many different reasons. Dear friends, I would really to talk briefly today about article that I saw in US news. This is the real cause of acid reflux disease. And fascinating article. In order to understand what they are talking here, we need to go uh, to the blackboard and I will explain you the concept. So here is what we, we used to know. This is our digestive tract, part of the digestive tract. So here is our mouse teeth right here. Here is esophagus low esophageal sphincter right here low esophageal sphincter this is the stomach and this is the pillarus small intestine will go down there you, the or scientists or gastroenterologists tell us that inflammation in the esophagus happens because hydrochloric acid from the stomach goes for different reasons here in the esophagus and actually will create an inflammation so because of the acid we are going to have inflammation right here and it's may cause Barrett's esophagus. This article is fascinating. The article is telling us that inflammation here in the esophagus and any part of the esophagus and even inflammation of low esophageal sphincter can happen without hydrochloric acid going up into esophagus. This concept fascinates me because as a physician, I know, and we, we learned in, in medical school, that inflammation in any part of the body can happen. Look at that, for example, this is the stomach, right? We know that inflammation in the stomach is gastritis, can happen for many different reasons. For example, chemicals can um, create, chemicals can create inflammation, right? Drugs can create inflammation, particular ibuprofen and all non-steroid anti-inflammatory drugs, also uh, corticosteroids. Stress, we know that stress can create inflammation. Stress gastritis means the inflammation due to stress right here in the body of the stomach. So the question this article is raising, why the inflammation cannot happen just in, um, in low esophageal sphincter or in any part of the uh, our esophagus? And the article says, yes, it's possible. So. The lesson for today from me as a naturopathic physician, let's go back to the PowerPoint presentation, okay? Why inflammation can happen in the esophagus? You have to look in your whole life at the food that you eat and drugs that you are taking. Is it possible that some kind of chemicals, herbicides, pesticides, Splenda, very common problem in my practice. I see patients all the time. They, they have inflammation due to chemical substances, drugs, Look at the drugs that you are taking. See if any of them can create stress. Look at the foods that you are eating. Are they contribute? We do not understand at this moment why sweets such as bread, pasta, pizza, juices, cookies, cakes can contribute to inflammation. We do know that dairy products such as milk and particular yogurt contribute to inflammation overall and they may contribute to acid re or, excuse me gourd that actually is not due to acid here is how dairy uh, contribute like look at that it's biochemistry from uh, human biochemistry when we eat animal fat this happened inside the cell this animal fat can convert it to arachidonic acid and that acid get converted here to pro-inflammatory pro substances so i I want to show you a bigger slide. So here is arachidonic acid can convert it to in pro-inflammatory substances, prostaglandin E2 and I2, which is great pain and inflammation and E2, fever and pain. Other um, thromboxane can create lung inflammation and even asthma. If they can create asthma, why they cannot create inflammation in the esophagus? And the answer is probably it is. 
So now I want you to go and look and think what is actually in your life that you are doing and you can change to diminish, diminish inflammation. I also want to bring your attention that once when you identify the cause of your GERD, okay, you can treat it very easy. So I strongly recommend everybody go and look at my YouTube channel for this YouTube video when I talk about eight possible causes of um, acid reflex. So identify your cause, eliminate the cause, and you will have no problem to get rid of acid reflex. Thanks guys for listening. Stay healthy. Bye-bye.